hi in this lesson we will be discussing about python descriptors in real world systems uh, like windows or linux and mac we have file directory sockets and so on so forth but every file or directly is being associated with a non negative integer so that the file or a directory can be accessed directly and uh, it is a distinct address and it can be fetched easily so here standard input has a default reading descriptor which has a value of 0 std out has a value of 1 std er has a value of 2 but in python we have a file number method which can return the file descriptor of any file description of any file so we can say that we have a file 2.txt we have made an object file object open and then we will be having file descriptor is for f name file object or file number so here it will tell us that at 3 this is the file description of file 2.txt and here we have a socket that this file is being connected with this socket so this is for the internal mechanism it will be easy for python and it will be easy for other systems to interact with with files to manage the files easily so please go through this documentation for a clear understanding now we have a pickle library let's assume that if in machine learning uh i have a algorithm trained machine learning algorithm let's call it decision trees we have a decision tree trained over some training data but i and i i i now need to pursue this tomorrow i but the issue is when i closes my laptop the the learned machine learning model will be erased out and to save this model we use pickle library so pickle library is a module for serializing and deserializing a python object structure and it can reconstruct it if i am going towards uh, saving an object it will reconstruct it after in later in provided that no information will be lost so this is a very very good library to store your objects in the memory so that we can use it for later purposes so uh, here this is the example that we have some called stored data and we have we have been saving into uh, this file pickle.db.db file so this is this data is very short but imagine we have a data we have a process we have a raw data of 10000 rows or 10 lakh rows and we have processed that 10 lakh rows and now we will be going towards uh, we will take that 10 lakh rows to do the other stuff so it's it is better to save that transform 10 lakh rows in pickle through pickle and then we can use it afterward So this is a very cool library pickle now move towards the json library it is similar to python dictionaries we studied python dictionaries python 1 introduction to python 1 and it is simply and json is being used for the communication between applications at web applications and it is used for the data transfers and this is a key value pair just like dictionary that we have a name this is the key and this is the value this is the key and this is the value so we can load the dictionary we can dump the dictionary we can extract the value from the dictionary from the json and we can have some really cool uh, functions regarding that to to store the information in a more structured way so happy learning please go through this documentation for a clear understanding of python descriptors and json and the pickle library